Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can add Python interpreter to our PyCharm project. So I already have a project here, but in case you don't have it, what you can do is you can create a new project. So I'll just create a new sample project and uh, I'll just create it in desktop. If you already have a project, you don't need to do this step. Or let me just create a new project here in D and it will be called Python project itself. And here it, will, it is asking you which interpreter type to choose Python VENV, custom environment or base conda. So in your case, you might not be seeing any Python version here. So if that is the case, that means that Python is not installed. If that is the case, this is how you can install Python. If you already have Python installed, you can skip a few seconds ahead. So first go to this URL. I'll have this link in the description below and then hover over downloads and you'll see this Python 3.1, 3.1. Click on this and your download will start. Once the download is complete, just click on open file and you will see this. So what you need to do is you need to check this add python.exe to path so that you can run Python commands from terminal. And now just click on install now. Once the installation is complete, you will see this message that says setup was successful. So just click on close. Now let's see how we can run Python. Press your Windows key and type cmd. Now open command prompt and type Python double dash version. As you can see, we have successfully installed the latest version of Python. Okay, so once you have Python installed, you'll get the list of Python versions here. Okay, so if you don't, what you can do is you can just click on this browse button here and then go wherever you have your Python installed. So as you can see, I have three versions of Python installed, 3.9, 3.12, and 3.13. So I can choose any Python version. So what you need to do is just click on this python.exe inside the Python installation folder, click OK, and that will be selected. Okay, so you can click on this, and now this Python version that we had just chosen will be selected as your Python version for this project. Now, if you already have a project and you are getting an error that says Python interpreter is not found, what you can do is you can click here, Go to settings and then click on your project name that is shown here and click on Python interpreter. Again, it's the same thing. From here, what you need to do is you can choose any selected Python version or if your Python version is not shown here, just click on add interpreter, add local interpreter. And from here, you can choose which Python version you want to use for this project. So basically in Windows, all of your Python versions are installed in your this directory that is C users, your username, app data, local programs. Inside programs, there is Python. And in Python, you have all your installations. From here, you can choose a specific python.exe and that Python version will be used for this project. Okay. So you can also choose an existing environment. So what we did now, we'll create a virtual environment in this folder. Or if you don't want to create a virtual environment, you can just click on existing. And from here again, do what we have already done and choose a specific Python version. So these are multiple ways of selecting Python versions for your project. You can just click on apply and this Python version will be used for this project. So yeah, you can create a Python version, of, you can create a Python virtual environment for this project. You can choose a global Python version and we also saw a different version, a different way to choose Python version when you are creating a new project. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.